Hi guys. Firstly, I want to apologize for my voice. For some days I have been sick and I might sound a bit strange to you. Anyway, uh, for this project, I have planned to make a very textured background. So for that purpose, I gathered some old die cuts, paper remains, old papers as you can see. And I will more or less randomly adhere it with matte medium to my background. As soon as my matte medium has dried, I will use some gesso and apply it all over the, my page. While the background was drying, I wanted to show you which image has inspired me to make this page. And the same image I will use as a color inspiration for my background. I have mostly used the Art by Marilyn acrylics from the Muted set, but I will use few others as well. To be honest, I have struggled with this background for a while and the whole process lasted more than an hour. And I have to put it in a shorter video for you, so I have skipped some little details. But I will do my best to explain you the process in general. Here I started working with the two shades of uh, green acrylic paint. They are called Olive and Envy. And I am spreading them uh, rather randomly and spraying some water over it while hoping that the paint will get stuck in some texture and ridges that I have made. While doing this page I was always drying the paint uh, between the layers and that's even more important when I introduce uh, red colors. The red colors which I have chosen are wine and ho ho ho. I chose to mix these two colors because my goal was to uh, achieve a shade which is as close as possible to the shade of the roses on the girl's head. And once again I'm applying the same technique as putting the paint randomly and spraying it with water. The same paint I have used with the Floral Quartet stencil, as you can see here. And I have chosen to use this uh, flower stencil, as the general idea was to make somewhat uh, nature-looking background for my girl. To give it all some more blended and smoother look, I was using uh, clotted cream and desert acrylic paints as well. While working on my background, I felt like my texture is not prominent enough, so I wanted to emphasize it a bit, and in that purpose I used the watercolor pencil in brown shade. When I look back at my project now, I think I did a bit too much shading, but you know what, in our journaling it's all okay. I also added a bit of uh, brownish shade to the edges of my paper with the distress oxides. But now I had a very busy background. To make a focal point stand out in this case, sometimes it helps to give it uh, some background. For that purpose I have used the deco frame die cut, as you can see here. And I know I said my background was too busy, but I just couldn't resist adding some gold acrylic paint to it. Anyway, at the end I think it really looked nice that way. The paint I have applied with my fingers over the textured area and later on to the girl's hair as well. This uh, gold plated acrylic paint from Art by Marlene was somewhat subtle but also very effective and I was generally really pleased how it looked on my project. And now I felt like I forgot something, and that something was stamping. It's very weird for me to do an art journal page without doing any stamping. I have used uh, an ink pad in green shade and a Blooming Good stamp set from the Mixed Up collection from Art by Marlene. From this stamp set I have used only a few leaf stamps, as I thought it completes the whole nature look. And after adding some quote, my page was done. 
I hope you like my project. As always, I hope I managed to inspire you and wish you all a nice day. Bye!